evening. This regular meeting of February 10th, 2020 of the Dubuque Community School District Board of Education is called to order. Our mission is to develop world-class learners and citizens of character in a safe and inclusive learning community. Roll call, please. Ms. Bradley? Here. Mr. Donahue? Ms. Parks? Here. Mr. Prohaska? Here. Ms. Ryan? Here. Mr. Sancy? Here. Ms. Whitman? Here. We have with us tonight uh, students from Audubon Elementary School who can come forward, introduce themselves with their name and grade, and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. My, my name's Caleb and I'm in kindergarten. My, na my name my name is Isaiah and I'm in first grade. My name is Haley, and I'm in first grade. My Art's name is William up. Schrader, and I'm in kindergarten. My name is Jillian, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Daniel, and I'm in first grade. My name is Trent, and I'm in third grade. Okay. Flags right here, Turn guys. over here. Who's going to start? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wow. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Awesome job. job. That was job. one of the more vocal ones we had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I move the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on January 13th. No, no, no. The we need to approve, approve the, agenda the agenda first. I'm sorry. I move the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. Second. It has been moved and seconded that we, uh, the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Sorry, I had my pencil marking the wrong page. So now I move the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on January 13th, the work session on January 27th, and the special meeting on February 3rd, 2020 as submitted. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on January 13th, the work session on January 27th, and the special meeting on February 3rd, 2020, as submitted. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. And now that takes us to board salutes, and I know we have a few out there. We'll start with Ms. Parks. So I would like to give a board salute to um, Mrs. Katie Hannon and the teachers and staff at Washington Middle School uh, who facilitated and supported uh, the World Read Aloud Day last Wednesday. I had the opportunity to read to two classes and it was a lot of fun. I read some books from my kids and the middle school students really liked it. Um, it was a great event and I heard a lot of positive responses from the students and the staff that were there. Great, thank you. Ms. Bradley. Sure. Congratulations to the Dubuque Senior High School Academic <coughs> Decathlon team. A new one to me, and it's very fun to learn about this. Our senior academic decathlon team recently qualified for the state decathlon competition. Actually, multiple teams. Uh, team one finished first in the large school division. Se seniors team two finished second in the division. And in the overall regional results, team one finished in third place and team two in fifth place. You might be wondering, what is the academic decathlon? Well, interesting, it is uh, comprised of seven events in mathematics, economics, art, music, language and literature, social science and science, as well as three subjective performances in speech, interview, and essay. Comprehensive, certainly a decathlon. So, of course, the board sends its heartiest congratulations to Dubuque Senior High School's <coughs> decathlon teams, and we wish them the very best at state. Wonderful, thank you. Mr. Sancy. Yes, I have one that goes to uh, Austin Troy, which is our assistant head custodian at Senior High School, 
And, well, thank you so much. He is in the building today. So there was a fire at senior uh, high school that impacted one of our uh, facilities, our buildings, and Mr. Troy was able to use our new panic button and inform all the people that needed to be informed um, about the fire and get everyone out safely. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to you and all the other individuals that were there to make sure that everyone was safe. So thank you so much. And I have a board salute um, for the famous Iowa caucus that went on this year. But um, board salute goes to Dale Plessel, the district's facility scheduler, who worked tirelessly to ensure the logistics were in place for the recent Iowa caucus. Um, by Iowa code, public facilities open their doors to caucus process. Dale, however, was just didn't just open the doors. He coordinated space, scheduling, and rescheduling, tables, chairs, setups, working with the precinct, captains, and each of the 16 schools used on caucus night to ensure that the re representatives from both parties had what they needed for the event. Thanks to Dale for coordinate, coordinating many moving parts to ensure that our facilities were ready to go on caucus night. We had nothing to do with the results. <laughs> <laughs> Just the chairs. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you say that multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but go. the results are out, I believe, now, yeah. a week later. OK. Any others? All right. Thank you. I, go ahead. OK. I move the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open form. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Any persons wishing to address the board can do so at this time. Oh, we'll start with our school spotlight. Good evening. Tammy Deer, I'm here for Spotlight on Our Schools. We are so excited today. We have some teachers here from Carver who are raising the bar tonight because they have a PowerPoint. So be ready. Welcome our teachers from Carver. Right. I don't really go anywhere without PowerPoint. So. <laughs> um, my name is Jenny Donath, and I'm a fifth grade teacher at Carver. And this is my dear friend and teaching partner, Sarah. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, Sarah Fitting, fifth grade teacher at Carver. Uh, we wanted to share um, some good news from Carver. Uh, we have implemented this year uh, the Carver Cougar Awards, which we take time every month to celebrate good behavior, um, academic achievement, and just kind of those caught you being good mom moments in our schools. Um, I've got some pictures here to show you. Um, every teacher in the building um, including Mr. Peterson, nominates somebody that they believe has shown great effort improvement in character or academics. And um, you can see we have our teachers up there. Uh, we come up as a team and announce the students' names. Want to say one? Um, during the nomination time, the teachers share a little bit about the student that they nominated along with the good things they're doing in the classroom or around the building. Um, <coughs> And it includes our special education team, our specialist team, and everyone else involved in it as well. So not only do they recognize students that are their students in their classroom, they're recognizing students from all across the building as well. Absolutely. Uh, kind of a fun thing is we don't say the student's name until the very end, which kind of creates some <coughs> anticipation on who's it going to be from each classroom. And it's pretty exciting. They each get a certificate with their name on it and get to come up front. There's just a couple pictures of some of our students receiving awards. Each staff member has to share two or three sentences about why they chose that student. And then when the students receive their certificate, they also get the card or the piece of paper that the teacher wrote the, their special, the reason why they got their certificate and why they got nominated for the month. As Sarah said, our specialists and our special education teachers, our counselor, everyone gets in on the fun. Uh, what I really like is some of our special education teachers don't even choose one of their own students. Some of our teachers supervise breakfast, or some of them supervise the car line, and they're nominating kids that they see doing a really good job in those areas as well. So it's always a surprise as to who will get the award from each person. And it's just really become this year something that the kids look forward 
and they and yeah, definitely one of our favorite days Absolutely. of the month to get all the students together the staff together and just to see the kids be able to you know shine a little bit in the building and um, to show that they've been working very hard Absolutely. so thanks so much for letting thank us you. just share that with you we appreciate it Thank you. Anyone else wishing to address the board at this time can come forward. Okay. I move that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. <coughs> consent agenda. I move the Board of Education approve those I items listed on the consent agenda. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve those items listed in the consent agenda. Are there any items any board members wish to have removed? There being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. And now that takes us to our facilities and support services report. Mr. Brahaska. Yes, thanks, Tammy. I'll just give you a little recap on, of our meeting last Monday. Uh, we basically re reviewed through some of the purchase contracts, uh, some of the uh, district project updates, uh, uh, Alta Vista campus technology <laughs> building, the uh, boiler and chiller replacement here at the forum, the forum boardroom technology upgrades, and uh, the Hempstead uh, High School parking lot expansion. We also were given an update on the solar project uh, taking place here at the Forum. I believe they started that already. And then we also had a, a report uh, from our synergistic company and the, the uh, phase one of the uh, analysis or study of our energy uh, uses is uh, being undertaken right now and we'll be eager to hear uh, what's going to transpire down the road. Uh, let's see. I'm now going to make a couple of motions here, and some of them apply to uh, some of the projects. I move that the Board of Education approve a certificate of substantial completion number one on the district pool and replacement project. Second. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve certificate of substantial completion number one on the district pool replacement project. Is there any discussion? Yeah, I'd like to add, uh, just uh, as it says here, it's the uh, uh, substantial completion number one. There's obviously a, a project of that magnitude. There are some details that st still need to be worked out. However, the, pr the project itself is substantially done. And it's a wonderful facility We've been, uh, in the community, been receiving many positive comments uh, about it. So uh, there are some things that need to be buttoned up, though. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Next, I move that the Board of Education approve the executed construction contract, bonds, <laughs> and certificate of insurance with Ports and Construction, Inc. for the Hempstead Serving Kitchen Equipment Replacement Project in the amount of $281,000. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the executed construction contract, bonds, and certificate of insurance with Ports and Construction, Inc. for the Hempstead Serving Kitchen Equipment Replacement Project in the amount of $281,000. Is there any discussion? Yeah, I'd like to add that this equipment has been at Hempstead High School ever since uh, Hempstead has been there. To, to last 50 years, they must be the equipment must be either very good and, or somebody must be taking very good care of it. So it's obviously time to be replaced. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Next, I move that the Board of Education adopt the following resolution. Resolve that the Board of Education of the Dubuque Community School District will levy property tax for the fiscal year 2020-2021 for the regular program budget adjustment as allowed under section 257.14 code of iowa second it has been moved and seconded that the board of education adopt the following resolution resolved that the board of education of the dubuque community school district will levy property tax for fiscal year 
2020 and 2021 for the regular program budget adju budget adjustment as allowed under section 257.14 <coughs> code of Iowa is there any discussion no discussion just wondering if maybe a comment on yeah absolutely and I would invite Rick Kevin is at the uh, IASBO uh, convention but uh, I'll just speak Rick and if I say something wrong can we come up and correct me if you would uh, so this is basically the budget guarantee so um, right now as we all know the legislature and the governor are working on supplemental state aid for next year so we pass the guarantee in the off chance that they don't come to resolution because if they don't come to resolution that means it's zero and so we have a, a guarantee for one year following that situation where our budget wouldn't decline so while we have 70 new students this year and while we're confident that legislatively we'll see something beyond zero, this is probably not something we need, but we passed it at this time anyway. So it's just a safety measure. Okay. Great. All those in favor signify right. by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> that motion carries. All right. Sounded good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Mr. Prosta? Nope. All right, thank you. That takes us to Educational Programs and Policy Committee. Ms. Whitman. Hi, I'd like to give some highlights on the Educational and Policy Program that, Committee that was held on February 4th. Um, we had High School English Language Arts Curriculum Study Update with Kristen George. She's a secondary language arts, and she presented um, talking about the High School English Language Arts Curriculum Study for English 1 and 2. and English 1-2 and English 3-4. Focusing on consistent approach to improving students' learning and achievement. She highlighted um, areas like engagement, next generation learners, create student-centered learning, and make your own, make it meaning, meaningful. We also had Mark Lawler, he's a secondary school social studies teacher, and he talked about the social studies curriculum update we had um, performance reviews. Um, Superintendent Stan Reingens talked about the performance school prof profile that was in the newspaper. We were very pleased with the results and it kind of gave a performance profile on all of our schools, elementary, junior high, and high school. And um, Kevin Kelleher gave an, reviewed the proposed increases to the student fees for 2021, just slight increases in certain areas. We went over some board policies. There was a couple of them that were tabled to have some little more tweaking done. And that was it. Okay, thank you. All right, that moves us quickly now to new business. I move that the Board of Education allows student number 805666 to re-enter the Dubuque Community School District effective February 11, 2020. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education allow student number 805666 to re-enter the Dubuque Community School District effective February 11th, 2020. Is there any discussion? Just the, this is our normal process. This is a young person who, um, I worked with the family last spring uh, to come up with a contract for what things they needed to do to achieve to be allowed back in school and they have successfully met the criteria so um, this is what the board agreed to basically when we did the expulsion contract last spring. Great. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. The next I one. move the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action on students re related to students number 816-741-815-655 and 814-272 at this time. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action related to students number 816-741, number 815-655, and number 814-272. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> that motion carries. Wow, that was a quick meeting. We're down to board member administrative issues. Anyone? I, I have uh, one comment related to the report that came out related to the good work that all of our teachers are doing uh, with improving outcomes for students. 
um, stand with your leadership and just all the people in every single building. I think we do have to take the time to celebrate uh, those moments and uh, make sure that teachers know how valuable they are to each one of our students in our building. I know we talk about we have a lot of work to do, but sometimes we do have to take the time to celebrate the small success. So from all of us, we're truly thankful for every single teacher, custodian, everyone who's really telling students that you matter every single day. I would add to that parents as well. I think the parents have really parents become a more and more vital uh, ally with the district, and we've worked hard to create those relationships, but certainly part of the continued growth is attributed to the hard work of the parents as well. And our community partners. And yep. community partners. Yep. 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 Wonderful. Okay, if there's nothing else, do you have one? Just, just quickly, sure. because we are adjourning rather sure. quickly here, just to say that behind the scenes we have two board committees. And so when we pass a tremendous number of things on the consent agenda, right. that really represents hours of work between last meeting and this meeting, and that's typical during which all of these items are discussed and rediscussed and and debated and disagreed and agreed upon. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you find you get the community gets the results of that process. I just right. think there's noting. And also to note that those are open meetings and so folks yes. from the community can come. And I do have two quick things. Uh, reminder that two weeks from tonight, um, so we do three times a year, we do an update around our strategic plan, our priority initiatives. So one of those is in February. So in two weeks from tonight in this room, uh, we'll do an update as far as what has happened uh, within the district to continue down the path of meeting our strategic plan. And the last one, I guess it could have fit under board salutes, but I'd like to recognize uh, Allie and congratulate her on winning the J.P. <laughs> Wagner Prize for Young Journalists in the <laughs> Iowa Newspaper Association. So we always appreciate uh, our journalists, and they work hard to tell a fair story, uh, good, bad, or ugly, as long as it's uh, accurate. We, we appreciate that. So congratulations, Alan. Congratulations. Alan. congratulations. Yeah. Great. Yep. <laughs> all right. Is that all? Anyone have anything more? Mm -hmm. Okay. With that, we are adjourned. <laughs>